proud of you, man. Yeah, I'm proud of you. You getting married. It's a beautiful thing. I know, right? What don't sound so excited, man? Hold on. You and Michelle all right? Huh? You're not having second thoughts about this deal, are you? No, 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 man. Everything's, everything's good. Everything's good. Yeah. Love Michelle. It's just... Ho, 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 ho. It's just what? Spit it out, Dale. It's just what? Look, me and Michelle decided that we were into the marriage on the right path spiritually. So we started going to the church to see a counselor. Okay, well, that's a good thing, right? It was supposed to be a good thing, but things kind of went off track once I... Once you... Once I lied to the counselor. So, Liddell and Michelle, let me first start by saying thank you for not only allowing me to be your pastor, but to also guide you on this journey of marriage. Oh, this is no problem, Rev. We just got tired of the internet going out in the middle of your sermons. <laughs> Ouch, don't pinch me. I don't think violence is approved in the marriage. Let me see these forms, Rev. Uh, Pastor Dunson, just please continue. <laughs> Thank you, I'm sorry. Now, Brother Liddell, you did mention the forms, and there was a small concern of mine. You know what? I was eating some chicken nuggets earlier in the barbecue, so I was must have just spilled all over it. But everything's legit. It's legit. Uh, no, not that. Perhaps this may be a misprint or even a misunderstanding. Maybe you two can help me out. Oh, you mean her age? No, she's really that old. Oh she just God. looks Will good, you man. Shut up? Don't tell me to shut up. That's just plain rude, okay? Telling me to shut up like that. Uh, Let me Liddell. see these forms, man. I just want one more time. Uh, Brother Liddell, the concern I have is the part where it asks, are you both sexually active? You say no, but Michelle says yes. Liddell. Huh? Huh? You lied on the phone. This man needs to know what my mother is. I'm not telling him. I'm <laughs> Okay, listen. I understand that talking about things of such a personal nature may be uncomfortable at times. However, if I'm going to help you to prepare for marriage, honest communication is a must. Am I safe to assume that you both want a spiritual relationship? Yes. Yes. So, Liddell, let me explain to you the role of a husband in a spiritual relationship. The Bible tells us that we must love our wives as Christ loved the church. Does that mean I have to get on the cross and die? Like, I didn't sign up for all that, I mean. The sacrifices we make are not just to die, but for the greater gain in Christ and in our marriage. And one of the sacrifices that we make is to abstain from sex until the wedding night. Just so I can be clear about this, what exactly do you mean when you say abstain? Liddell, will you stop? I mean no sex. Christ's job is to present without fault or blemish before God. And when you go before God at the marriage altar, that is how you should present Michelle. Michelle wasn't no virgin when I met her. <laughs> you know what, shut up. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I think that would be best. Uh, Pastor Dunson, we both want a spiritual relationship. Right, Liddell? Of course. I mean, of, of course, we, we definitely want a more spiritual relationship. You know, that's, that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. Let me just ask you one thing. Ugh. Now, wait, don't do that, okay? This is for both of us. It's not just about me, okay? Now, check this out. Is there like a 12-step program that we can just go through to kind of gradually kick the habit? Because say, for example, we start with, say, a little intercourse, and then we just break into a lot of fellatio. Oh, you know, a lot of fellatio. Thank you, Pastor. That's what we have second enough. That would help me a lot with the transition. Thank you. I'll see you next week, Rev. Next week. Next week, indeed. This program contains subject. I still cannot believe you lied, Liddell. What? Oh, baby, no, no, look, look, I was just trying to preserve the innocence of your essence to the pastor. Not by lying. If you want to preserve my innocence, we should just follow the advice of the pastor and keep this relationship spiritual. Which is why I don't think it would be wise for you to spend the night tonight. Oh, baby, why not? We can do this together. Plus, mm. you're on your period anyway, so. <laughs> no, don't try to act like you don't count. I don't count. What no, you know? Oh, no, you know I've been off for two days. No. Oh. It don't matter whether you're on or off. I don't, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. I'm motivated. Okay. Motivated. <clears throat> Unless you want to, because then we can, you know. No, I don't want to, Liddell. That's exactly what I'm talking about.
We gotta do the right thing. Okay, Spike Lee. What? <laughs> Spike Lee, man. Do the right thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Don't, don't think you gon' thank God for the right breast and thank God for the left breast. Because it's not going down like that until we thank God for the marriage. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my God, are you hard, Liddell? Am I? Yeah. It's your fault. You the one over here talking about breasts and stuff. Have you ever seen your t your breasts? What? They all round and uh, supple and stuff. You know what, Liddell? You're really starting to make me feel like a piece of meat. Baby, come on. Now I'm not trying to do that. What? I was just saying. Well, act like it or you going home tonight. <sighs> Why I gotta go home? Because I don't even want my breasts inside your head. Uh, get them out. Uh, uh, look, stop. Uh, mm. I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm taking a shower. Well, go ahead and take a shower then, but don't come out of there looking all good, smelling all good. Man, the Victoria's Secrets and all that other stuff. Oh, and don't feel bad about me. Use the bottle of hot water if you want to, because I'm probably going to be taking a cold shower. It's just selfish. I'm thinking about nobody but us. What exactly do you mean when you say abstain? I mean no sex. Christ's job is to present without fault or blemish before God. Stop this morning erection that's about to come in three, two, one. Okay, so Liddell, chill. Just chill. Stop. Take your mind off of sex. It's not gonna happen. So just sing something. I don't know. Sex in the morning, I won't touch it. Sex in the morning. Oh my god, why am I singing that song at a time like this? <sighs> Look, man, let's just calm down and rub my back. I know she feel this. Okay, maybe I should just stop. Don't bite the apple, Liddell. Don't bite the apple. We getting our Spike Lee on, we doing the right thing. But who am I to deny her if this is what she really wants? I shouldn't turn her away. You know what? Let's just test her. Let's just give her a little test. See how she responds. If she let me pull her pants down, that mean we in there. Okay. Don't mess this up, Liddell. Now let's go in for the taste test. I promise you be good.
Why are you having this debate right now, man? Just concentrate. I can't, man. I can't concentrate. I'm going to concentrate if I'm thinking God while I'm in the middle of doing this. Look, just focus, man. Just focus, okay? I can't focus right now. No, I got... Oh, no. No. God, please don't. Lord, please don't let me bust right now. Please don't let me... I'm dead. I shot the sheriff. No. Oh, God. Just, maybe she won't notice. Maybe she won't notice. Did you just come? Uh-uh. I Patel. think so. Oh, wait, wait, baby. Wait, Patel. Wait, baby, wait, where are you going? No, we shouldn't have been doing this in the first place. Baby, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I prom you promised, and we both promised God. Oh, baby. No. I'm about to get my second win. That's what happened, man. I feel bad, Mike. It's like we was going so strong. How long? Man. It was more than two days. How long not including the period? Man, about two days. <laughs> Look, man, it's not going to be easy, man. But, dude, when you get married, it's not going to be easy. You know what I mean? But this is your training ground. If you can't honor her before you're married, then you're not going to honor her after it's either. Mm. So you trying to tell me that you and Sandy wait? Hell! No, man. I was tapping that right up to the moment I said, I do. So that's what you was at. When we looking for you to put on your tux and you and Sandy was off somewhere, that's, that's crazy. The bachelor party was bananas. Oh my God, I still don't know how she tied that Twizzler together. Oh gee, I don't know, what, whatever man, whatever. Look, all I'm trying to say is, you and Sandy, y'all got like a nice house, two beautiful kids, y'all the perfect family, man. I can have the same thing, man. Yeah, but you gotta remember that that was before I knew God too. I'm telling you, the pastor was right, look, the first two years of our relationship was wonderful. After that, it was pure hell. And because of that, we almost split. That's crazy, man. I'm telling you the truth, man. I almost cheated on Sandy. You almost cheated on Sandy? Good thing you didn't, boy. Sandy would have cut your balls off. <laughs> That's exactly why I didn't do it, man. But man, let me tell you something. Yo, Gideon, can I get this in the extra large? If I had an opportunity to do it all over again, I choose the path that you and Michelle are taking, man. That spiritual path. Because that spiritual path helps it out so much, man. Because then you realize that your relationship is so much more deeper than just good sex. And I, I hear you, man. I, I really do. I, I want God to honor our marriage. I'm definitely not trying to cheat on her. Unless it's with, like, Patty LaBelle. What? Yeah, man, Patty LaBelle. Me and Patty go away, man. I'm telling you, man. I had dreams about me just hitting that spot while she hitting that high note. She'd probably kick off her shoes or something. We just rolling around in the bed like we on stage. Oh, Lord. Patty. Patty. Don't look at me like that, man, because I know there's some chicks out there that you want that, you know, somebody else probably won't even approve of. Nah. Not just one. If you had your chance, just one chick out there. Oh, maybe one chick. Your mama. <laughs> you know what, man? That's what I like talking to me, man. You always trying to do the mama joke. Hey, hey, hey. Stop being sensitive, man. Yeah, ain't Look, me. Dale, I appreciate all the struggles I went through with Sandy. Every single minute. You right. know why? Because if it wasn't for those struggles, I couldn't be sitting here right now telling you that there is a better way for you to enter into your marriage. Hmm. But what I can't believe is that you asked the pastor, was there a 12-step program? Yeah, I asked him, was it a 12-step program? Look, man, it's gotta be a gradual process. Just stopping cold turkey. That seems so harsh. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh. It's a matter of death and life. Be weak and do wrong, or be strong and do right. And I don't wanna keep Can I come in? Michelle! Michelle, open the door. You do know I have keys, right? Michelle! What's wrong with you? I know you're not still mad. Look at all sexy. You mad. Is everything a joke to you? Uh, everything not a joke, but everything not so serious. To who? 
You can't dictate what's serious to me because to me this is very serious. We're talking about marriage, Liddell. Marriage, spending the rest of our lives together in a commitment. What is not serious about that? I understand that. No, you don't understand. You think I want to get divorced like my parents? Like your parents? No, and the only way for that not to happen is through God, so I need for him to honor our union. I want God to honor our union too, Michelle. Love sometimes requires sacrifice, Liddell, and I do love you. But I love God more, and I am going to make the sacrifice. Now, at this point, it's just a question of what or who I'll be sacrificing. I'm going to bed. Shell, I brought this piece over here because I thought we were going to eat. Well, I'm not hungry. And I know you got a ride over here, so you can stay and sleep on the couch if you want. Good night, man. <laughs> oh, uh, I, this movie kind of scary, so uh, if I get afraid tonight, I'll probably come in your room. But this will be why, just because of the movie. Scary, huh? Yeah. Madea goes to jail is scary? Yeah, yeah. It's a six foot black man dressed in drag in jail. It's not scare anybody. I love you. She's talking about sacrificing me like I ain't nothing, Rev. Like I'm some type of animal, man. Like I don't mean nothing to her. After all these years we've been together, everything we've been through, I don't mean nothing to her no more. Like I'm just some type of animal. I, I don't know what to do, Rev. I don't know what to do. And then she got the nerve to say, like, okay, I, I, I love God more than I love you. Of course you love God more than me. God is God. Like who am I to God? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm supposed to compare to God or something like that. So I'm like, forget it. If you love God so much, be with God. Don't be with me. You can bounce. I don't need you no more. We ain't got to be together no more. I don't want you. I can find somebody else that look better than you, that's cuter than you, that's thicker than you, I don't even want her no more. So if you talk to her, you let her know, I don't want her no more. Don't do it, right? Don't do it without Michelle. Michelle is making a sacrifice for God. Who are you sacrificing for? For you? For her? Or for God? I can do this, God. I can do it. Now I know I wrote this song for somebody. Because I figure at some point in everybody's life. What you laughing at? I'm just happy. I'm so proud of you. What I do? You're making me feel honored. And though I do miss certain aspects of our relationship, I know it's just a temporary sacrifice. Oh, yeah? What you miss? <laughs> no, <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> Let's just say, now I'm looking forward to our wedding night. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Let's just say, you're going to have to forgive me after that first round. <laughs> For real. Look, I won't hold it against you. Please don't. I promise. Please don't. I'm just happy we're spending the rest of our lives together. Yeah, I'm happy, too. Yeah. I'm happy we're doing this the right way. You know? I love you. Yeah, you're not so bad yourself. Okay. I love you, too. Mm. And then Let's say you be getting me started, they be trying to stop all the time. Don't be playing. I'm telling you, you're gonna get something started. <laughs>
us And before something happens I gotta turn it all around Because you know you can't just have your cake and eat it too Cause it's real easy to stay on the fence and still do you And it'd be cool if we could love the Lord and still go on and It doesn't work like that You gotta be white or black Love you. Patty LaBelle. Lord. Me and Patty. Find it so amusing and say it's all an illusion. Are they just playing with my mind? 